The second sock. Will it match? I have a new setup. We're going to see if this works better. And we're going to follow the exact same pattern as previously. I should have enough yarn to finish it. I'm going to cast on 73 stitches, so that's 36 and 37. I'm going to back up these stitches, put on my cast on comb, and load up my waist yarn. Tension six for the cast on. Well, that's unique. This time it didn't work. Okay, we're going to try again. Interesting. Huh. Move these all forward. Every now and then, you just get a time when it just does not want to knit it. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm going to lock this into the cast on comb. I'm going to angle it. Sure enough. This time it worked. I have little doubt that there's uh, damage to some of my needles here, especially this one, which is fine. I will replace it later. forward. Knit again. Okay, I'm going to knit a couple more rows. Fairly tight. We're going to a tension 10. Tension is obviously working very well. Okay. I'm now on the opposite side of the uh, bed from where I started the last time. Resetting my row counter. Locking in my yarn onto the cast on comb. Taking a breath. Bringing these all forward. Locking it on. Now I'm going to e-wrap.
Should I use a garter carriage for this? Sure. But I have my river set up, so I'm going to use my river. I'm going to pause this. Alright, we're at the last few stitches. Now, my carriage is currently set at 10. I need it to be set back down to... Let's see. Tension 5. Okay. Two rows, tension 5, and then we'll come back and reset our row count. Not bad. Okay. Now I'm going to transfer the stitches onto the ribber and we will do the ribbing. I'm going to, of course, pause while we do that. Alright, these are the last couple stitches I'm transferring. Making sure that I push back all the needles that are not in work. Lowering the bed just one click. Center it at zero. Push it up. Nice and gentle. Don't think anything's bad. Pretty good. Nothing's coming off. Okay. Last time we put on small barrel weights, and I don't think it covered enough. So we're going to put on the big ones to start. So pretty tight fit in there. I may not have any choice but to start with the small ones. So let's start the small ones. snug fit in there. I just removed my claw weights. Deep breath. Everything looks pretty good. I don't think anything is going to go sideways. Bring our carriage is closer. You want to make sure that you move your carriage from tension 5 to tension 3 on the top and bottom. Nothing's in part. You're just going to knit across for twenty-seven rows. So here we go. Nice and slow. Looks like we have a loop. So I'm going to have to fix that loop and then we'll continue. Give me one second, please. Continue with row number two of 27. Twenty-seven. 
Now that we're further down, we can switch out those um, barrel weights for the heavier ones. Okay, now we have some safety. Let's continue. Alrighty, so now we will transfer from the river back onto the main bed. I'm going to pause as usual and we'll come back when that's done. Okay, here's our last one. Transferred. Moving our yarn, lowering our river. And then we'll read our rules. All right, so we're done the ribbing. Increase the tension five. Decrease one stitch on this side again. We're decreasing one stitch. done. Okay. Next. Knit 38 rows. Okay, so resetting the row counter. Now we will knit 38 rows and then we will shape the heel again. Last time we went to do this, I didn't like the tension, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, just like before, I'm not liking tension five on this carriage. So I'm going to switch to the blue carriage again. And then we'll continue. All right, resuming. Sorry, I'm chair or something. Here we go. Not sure what's going on. That's 13 out of 38 rows. Okay.
Okay, that is row 38. We are now going to shape the heel. So we're going to put our carriage into hold. We're going to bring 36 left to one right into hold. We're going to decrease 18 times, which is nine stitches on either side. So when we get to here, and somewhere around here, maybe here. And then that should leave 20 in the middle. We'll see if we're right. Let's do this. I'm going to reset my row counter to one and see if we can't, um, you know, get a row count. Under. Forward. Under. Forward. Under. So I'm just going to go under and forward. And then count. Okay, I'm going to put a claw weight on there. Do, do, do. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's also at six. That's now seven. I'm going to make sure that knit off. Yes, it did. So we'll bring that forward. That one's under. That's at seven. Under, forward, under, forward, under, forward. Okay, let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going across, under, forward, that's now nine, knitting across. Okay, let's read. Return levers for partial knitting, opposite side. Knit, hook, repeat steps 9 and 10, 16 times. We are now at 9 needles in hold position on the right and 17 in working position. So 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I am one short. So I'm going to go under. I'm going to bring this one forward. 
I'm going to knit across. Now I'm going to go under and now I'm going to put this one back into working position. I'm also going to move up my claw weight and now I'm going to work my way backwards. We are at row 19. I'm going to write that down. So 19 rows partial. Now I'm going to reset my row counter and see what we get for a row count. So now we're going to knit across. Under and back. Under and back. Under and back. Under, back. Under, back. Under, back. Under, and back. Under, and back. Under and back. Under, back. Under and back. Under and back. Under and back. Under and back, under and back. Now yet again we have two extra on this side that we don't have on this side and I don't know why. This does not make any sense to me. So we're just going to continue. We are two rows short. I have no idea why. We are just going to reset our row counter to zero, 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 and we're going to continue. Back to normal knitting. We are now going to knit how many rows? 76. So let's do 76 rows.
We're at row 51. We're sure it's 76. 76 rows. Eight more rows to go. Six more rows. Okay, we're at row 76. We are on the proper side to do our toe. Because we're on the same side as we did the heel. So now we're going to repeat the same steps as we did the heel. We'll see if it works this time. Okay. Knitting across. In hold. We'll see what happens. I'm going to reset my row counter again. Okay. That one's under, that one's forward. Forward. Under. Forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No more decreases on this side. And this one should have one more decrease. Okay, so we're at row 18 this time, and I bet we have 17 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so now we're going to knit backwards. That is now under, we're resetting our row counter. and we're going to knit back. I have no idea why I keep screwing this up, but it is what it is.
Interesting. All right, and you look at this, and it's pretty darn perfect. And it's also 18 rows, not 19. I forgot to put that one back. Okay, so that's pretty darn good. We're now going to knit our one row, and then we're going to flip it over. And we're going to graft it. So here we go. We are knitting our one row. Box it all in. Taking the yarn out. I'm going to put it out of the way, grabbing my waste yarn, locking it in, tension 10, I'm going to knit several rows and then I'm going to bind it off. All right, I'm just going to latch to it and then we'll come back and we'll do the grafting. All right, so let's do our grafting. So, 36. Just like last time, we grab this toe Turn it so that the right sides are insides. Making sure all of your stitches are where they're supposed to be. I'm just going to hold that in the carriage. If I can get it in the carriage with one hand. Okay. Now it's being held in the carriage. Nuts. Okay. So I'm going to put the first 36 onto the bed and then we'll come back. Okay, I'm almost done this part. Couple more stitches here. I think it's kind of weird how we got 18 rows for the toe, but the heel had 19 in the partial, and we had a whole bunch of stitches that just were not knit off. So I'm not exactly sure where I keep going wrong, 
But like I said, when it comes to socks, I'm pretty cursed. Okay. These are going to come forward. Now. This one, I grab it from behind, and it's got to come up and on. In from behind, up, and on to the next one. As you can see, I'm kind of holding it sideways so that I can get in between those stitches and grab just the loop I need. Not an easy job. Pretty hard. Almost there. And looks like we did pretty good here. One, two, and three. Go in between. Now I'll just grab the edge of it. Okay, that's number three. I'm going to bring the other ones forward a little bit. Now I need to make sure that this stays down, so I'm going to grab my claw weight. And I'm going to talk it into staying down. Okay, moving these just a little bit up. So now I can see river stitch, main, river main, main, river main. I'm not knitting these, I'm going to sew these. So I need one, two, three, four. That should be enough to sew them. And now I'm going to find my favorite sewing needle.
One second, please. All right, I found my favorite needle. Deep breath. So what I'm going to do, try and keep my head out of the way. I'm going to go in through the river stitch up to the main bed stitch. I'm pulling it down so I can see it. And I'm going to come through it. Fairly snug. I'm trying not to hit the camera with my head. I'm going to come in through the back of the main bed stitch and coming right back through that first stitch. Nice and gentle, pulling it through and then tugging it a little bit tight. Now on the river one, so the blue, I'm going through the second stitch and back into the second stitch on the main. Pull it a little bit tighter, come back through, stitch three, back to stitch two, pull it through. Give it a little snug. Then three to three. Four to three. Four to four. Five to four. Seems like a hockey game. And then five to five. I think you get the idea. I don't think I need to show any more. So I will pause the video as usual. And we'll come back when I'm at the end. So what happens if you can't get into the stitch here? Well, this is why I put it behind the latches. So I can bring it forward just a little bit. And the latch will open up that stitch. So this latch opened up that stitch so that I could actually get in into it. Same with this one. If I can't get into it, bring it up a little bit and I can get into that space. And then I flip it over the latch. And then I come in and I can see in between the two on the front. It's not a race. But this way, I don't have to struggle. As far as I can see, I'm not struggling. And my stitches are secure, and I'm not missing one. There you go. Alrighty. Last couple stitches. Now this last one is going to be a little bit fun. I'm going to separate them. Okay. Put it 
forward, grab that last, well, grab the main bed stitch, pull that through. Come back from to the uh, stitch number two, and then back into stitch number one, and into stitch number one. And then one more time, we're going to come into stitch number one. All right. So now we need to bind this off in such a way that we don't have to come back again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it. Okay, I'm going to take it off the machine. Okay, I've moved all everything back. This looks really, really good. I'm taking my needle. I'm going to go in into the back. Try not to get the orange. I don't know if you can see that or not. Going between both. Okay, so that's five stitches. Coming back this way. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back into this one, to this one, to that one, to that one. And then one more time, skipping the last one, going into the second ones. That should lock that in. So wish us luck. I'm now going to sew the side seam um, while I watch TV. And then we'll come back when this is all done. And we'll take a look at both socks. 